Hello guys and welcome back to the third episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 as Jan Mayan. Yes, we are back and it's time to continue our colonial adventure down here in Arabia. Uh, so we're currently occupying the last province of Hejaz and that should give us control over that region. Uh, but I also want to do an invasion of Ethiopia because we have added a war goal to conquer Eritrea, Eritrea I think it's called. And I believe that was what we added. Uh, it's not that important, I guess, uh, as long as we get to do, do it. Uh, I just noticed before I started recording that I have a ship that is finished building over here in Europe. So I'm immediately going to go ahead and send that over to Africa. Hopefully no Ethiopian fleet stops us on the way. I can't guarantee anything, of course, but, you know, that's just the chances we must take. Um, so, yeah. We have established some colonies now here in uh, Arabia, but uh, I do feel like we need some more than this. Indeed we shall. Alright, um, so let's just start. Start the game, speed everything up. And we are losing money. Nope, our budget is balanced again. I don't know what that was all about. Well, let's just speed up to the max and get this, these occupations over with. Okay, so um, there we go. Um, yeah, there was something I kind of wanted to check. Whether or not we can actually... Oh... Yeah, this is kind of a problem. We might not actually be able to enact this piece. We might have to take this one away and do that in a separate war. Uh, simply because we... Um, uh, the, you need over 100 war score in order to gain this. So I, d I don't think we actually can get this. I don't know if it, if it, if it is a thing in this game where it actually um, where it, where it makes the war goal less expensive to take as if you have actually occupied the place. I do not know exactly how that is going to work, but um, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see whether or not we're actually going to be able to do that. And another thing that we have to do if we want to invade uh, Ethiopia is that we want we we're going to have to defeat the Ethiopian navy. That's not uh, nothing. Ooh, we can do more stuff. Um, so what do people want? What will make them all kinds of happy? Not in the mood for giving them any less work hours. That's not going to be good for my industry. Some people want better lower... Um, a lot of people want to get rid of slavery though. So you might actually just get that. I know I did it for the lulls and I allowed it just because I thought it was kind of hilarious. But I think we might actually go ahead and outlaw that. Um, just to police the population a little bit. We don't want them to revolt against us. That's the thing. The polar bears are still in power, of course. But we must trick the humans into believing that they actually got something to say. I guess we could always just transport them over by um, by sea. If I speed this down and I put these... Tell them to go there. Will they follow? Will they do anything about that? Because this contains, like, it can travel nine, it can get 9,000 dudes over there, but they actually have troops here. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Um, they, don't, they don't have that many of those. I think 3,000 should be able to defeat them pretty easily. Or three regiments, more exactly. So let's get three regiments and get them moving. We'll keep an eye on this fleet here, see if they're planning on doing, doing anything, and this should allow us to get over there. Without anything bad happening, we might as well just move this army up here as well, just to make it ready. So once our guys end up over here, there will be a little bit fight, I think, because they do. The the Ethiopians do have some troops there, so. Oh wow, twenty percent. No, that's a little bit too harsh, I think. So many can't die. Yep, there's a battle. I uh, can't exactly see how many they have. They have. Um, uh, can't see. Uh, is it just me or is the sound a little bit low? I feel like the sound is a little bit low. Let's try and change that. Audio. Get that up a little bit. Something like that. I don't know. I just feel like I've noticed that in the editing. Uh, oh, they will... They're, yeah, they're actually traveling now, so let's try and get back into port. Before they arrive. They did indeed. We did indeed do that, so let's repeat the process. Taking some attrition, standing. Oh wow, we're taking a lot of attrition, just chilling out there. So we need to move into Ethiopian's land, Ethiopian lands. Oh look at that, they actually retreated the navy. Let's uh, go in for a naval engagement then. Nanuk Blomstfjelle shall uh, be our admiral today. Very glorious. 
Nanuk Blomstvile. Uh, Nanuk Flower Mountain. Yes. <laughs> Best name ever. Alright. Uh, yes, the population lose militancy. That's good. They must accept polar bear rule. It's the only thing they can do. Oh wow, why? They got troops moving here, but we can't actually see how many. There is no number under them. Don't know what that's all about, but oh well. The occupation is still slow, but it's not super slow, so we should be able to get this over with. Alright, let's get some more industry going, so that we can start reopening our factories. Um, which will be very nice. Alright, there we go. For first province down. This is going to take forever. Ooh, we can do fuel now. Not that that actually matters, as we do not rule yet, at least, any territories that actually produce fuel. Or, I mean, the oil, that is, so... I believe there's some oil going on over in uh, America at this point in the game. Texas. So, here we go. Oil. Yeah, a lot of oil. And some oil in Poland for some reason. Okay. Yeah, this oil I know about. And there's, of course, oil down here. Interesting. Should there be oil in, like, other places? Like, doesn't, like, Nigeria, they have oil, right? Or Sokoto, I guess, at this point, though. Do, do thou hi has that oil? No, no oil down there. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I'm not a very good at oil historian. I don't know when people started discovering oils in various places. <laughs> so, yeah, the conservatives are really losing ground here. Everyone else is gaining. So I don't know if I like that a lot. Not. Oh crap! Here you go. Come on, win, win. No, you. No, no. Okay, retreat. Damn it! Oh, come on, I have to build that navy all over again. Oh, bad decisions were made. Okay, I might as well just start building then. Uh, I guess we might as well just build it right here. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's go and build that navy back up. Clipper transport, I mean frigate. And some clipper transports, like so. I don't know how exactly many we can build. Oh, okay, that's too much. Okay, never mind then. Then, never mind that then. Why are these guys standing here? They're not even colonizing it. I don't. I don't see what's going on. Oh well, they can do what they want. So now we will take a look then at the. Um, uh, no, we yeah, we're not going to be able to do it. it didn't occupying that province didn't actually reduce the war score, so. We didn't reduce the cost of acquiring it, so we're not going to be getting Eritrea in this war. That's sad. I guess we're just going to have to force the... Um... I really thought we were going to get it. Oh, well. I guess we're just going to have to... F we're going to have to force the... Um... Ethiopians to... I might, why, might, might as well just take the capital. Why not? Oh, I want to take that troop before we do that, though. There we go. Nice. Uh, ooh, seven out of nine troops. That means we can recruit some more derps. Back in Italy. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's get a um, horsey and a dude. And that'll be our European army for now, anyways. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna want to fight this war all the way until the um, until they're willing to accept. Uh, oh fuck! I, I'm. Is it possible for them to offer that we do that we like uh, that they will offer to give a retreat as well? I don't know. Let's just get 100% war score and see what happens. Shouldn't be too difficult. They want to annex Hejaz. I, uh, I guess taking Hejaz is something we want to do, as it is a more expensive place, uh, infamy-wise. So I guess we at least want to make it worth the infamy, you know. But I would really like to take a retreat as well. I, damn, I want. I would love to do that. So much, indeed. I would like to do that. This occupation is taking forever, though, so we might just not do it. And just move on with our lives. Hmm. Crisis. What did that actually matter? Yeah, now we go. Why well, we have one hundred percent now? So um, now I guess now we can get proof for the fact that they will not accept. Uh, no, they won't accept it. I like it all. It's really lame, but that's just how the game works, I guess. So sad, when we finally are able to add more than one goal, they won't even accept it. Ay ay ay. Well then, let's force them to an accept our goal of acquiring a jazz. 
And there we go. Yan Mayan Asia. How nice, isn't that? So now I guess we're just gonna have to wait for our troops to run out with the Ethiopians and then we'll invade them again. Um, so yeah, we can transport four dudes at a time now. We can even recruit another boat as well as another... Um, I do need to build a port over here, I feel. I do I don't have that much money now. Shouldn't be should be a little bit careful. Uh oh yeah, now I got revolts again. Not nice. Uh, so what do you want people? I am willing to give you reform. School systems, pensions. Minimum wage seems to be a thing that people want, so how about we give them that? Should calm down the rebellions a little bit. Nope, not at all. Okay, that's an issue. Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to start sending troops back home to Europe then. Oh, I really wish the Spanish Spanish get the, get their shit together and start working on um, building the Suez Canal. That's a little bit unbalanced, don't you think? Uh, so let's not do that. Send them a tiny bit. No, don't do that. Um, get a little bit more of a balanced army home, something like that. You want what? No. Okay, now I'm confused. Shouldn't you be able to go on the boat? There you go. That's more like it. Right. Go to Europe and defend the lands. Defend the newly acquired polar bears. Colon colonies. I guess Italy doesn't actually count as a colony, so you couldn't really say that, but you get the idea. Let's do assembly line. Yeah, I also need to do some of these commerce thing. Yeah, this organized factory crap. I might actually do that straight away. It's gonna take like two seconds to get. Because it's very cheap and we have a lot of points, so. Yeah. Ooh! Membership. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. It's gonna cost a lot of money, but we do need the prestige, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Italian Red Guards. <laughs> it's not. That's so dumb. Like. <laughs> Like, there are no po po uh, polar bear population <laughs> in this game, so these events are so weird. Ah, shit, I don't know. Yeah, let's get rid of some of that militancy. We really don't need it. Oh, nice. Now I can see the rebels are calming uh, down. Oh, well, that is good. The polar bears are happy. Don't even think I need to send those troops home from the colonies, but... oh, I can actually recruit some locals. How nice. Uh, get a horse, some Bedouins. That usually works. And they're actually they're actually called Bedouins as well. <laughs> Susan, Hus ah, fuck, I don't know what's what's the best, Hussars or 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 Car Carassiers. Discipline, maneuver, max speed. Does it say anything about reconnaissance? I don't know what reconnaissance is. I have certainly no idea. Let's just get that. I usually build hussars. I guess it's just of an old habit of mine. Uh, but I think that should work. It's fine. There you go. That's already done. Wow, I need to get some of these admin... Yeah, I need to get some of these technologies right here. Some of these commerce things. I don't know. Should we gamble on opening up another one of these factories? Let's do it. I am feeling not confident at all. We need to put get our people employed so that they don't revolt. I guess the uh, thing we need to wor worry about in our nation is not bread and games, it's work and games. Yeah, they're not able to get supplied by that, so how bad is that going to be? Yeah, whenever we start seeing industrial sub... we the fact that we have to start, uh, you know, dealing with industrial subsidies, then I'm going to close it down again. Or I'm just going to stop funding it. Uh, the goal is basically that... Um, um, goal is simply that we can um, get rid of the um, that we that we, that's got yeah they're going now it's already not making money wow and we're not paying any subsidies though so I guess it yeah I guess the factories have a little bit of a budget on their own so I think that's kind of why yeah, we really need to get some of these industrial technologies up there yeah we just don't have enough colonies to supply our nation with resources that's the thing. Yeah, there you go, factory budget. You can see the factory budget just going down and down. No, no, there it actually is going up. Okay, we're actually making some money. Nice, let's go and open this one as, as well then. See how that works. Yeah, I think uh, building Jan Mayen Nunorge, that's that's pointless. This is Nunorge right here. 
and Yanmain happens to be a province in that region, so... Building a factory on Yanmain... Hey, there's actually people living here now! Okay! Wow, look at that, 1,000! Wow, I, I always just sort of thought that there was no one living here, but I guess there is. That's a lot of people. That's that's a lot of people. I am very surprised that that's a lot. That I mean, that's a very that. Blah, 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 blah. It's a very that's a lot of people. Um, when you think about that, this is a tiny Arctic uh, volcanic island. I mean, it's, seriously, <laughs> it's not. Uh, I guess the polar bears can chill out there, no problem. But humans, ah, not really. I don't even know if there's polar bears there. I mean, seriously, it's a very very small island. Don't let the game's uh, geographies fool you. Are we paying? No, we're not paying any subsidies. Oh crap! Yeah, we need to get rid of these uh, tariffs. Uh, oh yeah, look now. Oh, we are no longer exporting anything. You can see this. I mean, it does barely matters what we put these ads. So exports have pretty much just ceased to exist. But I have seen that being sort of a strategy. So I read some at some point that like there was this sort of an advantage in having high tariffs because it like encouraged your people within your empire to spend your stuff without um, without you exporting it. It was something like that. I can't remember what it was exactly. I guess we can take a look at our industry, see how, the, how, it's, see how it's doing compared to... Um, basically trying to see how that's... how it's doing. Um... Compared to when, like, depending on what sort of um, tariff policy we're going with. So, no, nah, taxes doesn't matter that much, actually. Let's do tariff saving thing. Gotta make sure that industry stays awesome and is awesome and awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Yanmon communists, they're actually starting to get something done. But communists and Jacobins and anarcho liberals, they're never actually going to be able to do anything at all. Uh, in this game, that's simply because there is just, it's not enough people living on Yanmain for there to be actually capable, they will never ever spawn a regiment over here from what I've understood. And they, and rebels have to occupy the capital in order for anything to happen. So, uh, yeah, it's just not gonna work. Sorry. Really? By who? Oh crap, there's actually rebels on the Faroe Islands, okay. I guess we have something to do then. Go and kill those rebels. Kill them! Kill them with fire! Let's get over there. Mm, slaughter some uh, non-obedient citizens. Filthy humans. Rejecting polar bear rule. How dare you! How dare you! So now we're just gonna sit around and wait for that infamy to go away. And then we're gonna invade Ethiopia again. We could always do Najd, uh, and I think I'm gonna go in and do that at some point. But I really won't want to grab Ethiopia. Because that will give me a nice boost to my population. Plus that some of these provinces here have, um... Oh, they're actually allied to Sokoto, but Sokoto can't do anything, though. It's a wonder that they're still independent. Uh, there's some nice, um, uh, tropical wood over here, uh, which is very nice. Gonna fuel our luxury furniture f production. At the same time as it's going to, um... Uh, you might convert it to, uh, rubber production, which is so good for, like, very modern industry. Uh, talking about modern industry, let's uh, actually build another factory, we, or not, we don't actually have any money at all. I think we might actually consider, consider as well uh, also changing our um, political party. I'm thinking uh, these guys maybe? Either them or the communists. Because uh, my economy right now can't handle these liberals. Um, like, I would like someone who give, who can have free trade. And, but I, this this is the problem. Lastly, fair. Whenever a party supports that policy, then I can't do it. Like I I think that the the street party have the policy that is best for us right now, but they're not very popular. So that it hurts constantly forcing them to be in power. I guess eleven is not that bad. But I mean, it would be better to like push the socialists in there or something like that. Planned economy. Ah. Maximum military spending, supply consumption. Yeah, let's put Arbeida uh in power right now. See how that changes stuff. Um, yeah, I think that 
Uh, Rebeda Bautier was just kicked out of the Norwegian government, for those who are not totally updated on Norwegian politics. <laughs> um, so, to be honest, I don't really care that much. Um, Arbeda Patia are socialists in the real world as well, as well as they are in this game, so... So, right now in the Norwegian, real-life Norwegian politics, some... Um, like, it's difficult to call them... Like, they're basically the... Uh, right now, uh, Høyre, I believe I mentioned this before, but Høyre just gained power in Norway, together with another party, coalition government, and they, like, um, they're, like, not socialists. Basically, I mean, I guess compared to like, I don't know, like American political parties, they're like super socialists. But uh, compared to like, you know, when you think about how like Norway has usually been a traditionally a uh, social democratic nation, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how, what these new people in power are going to do. Okay, so it seems like a budget is getting somewhere, so let's go ahead and Increase spending, I guess we can... No, I actually want to keep military decently high. Because having this high means that you'll get a bigger chance that people will sign up and become... Um, uh, become soldiers, basically. I believe that's how it works. So, and we do need soldiers, so... Cause, I mean, we're currently... Are we currently um, uh, encouraging them so that we can get some more troops? So there's a crisis going on. Let's take a look at what that's... Oh, never mind. Fuck you, too. I didn't, I di I didn't even want to look at your crisis. And this is kind of hilarious. Entire Italian Africa is occupied by anar uh, anarcho-liberals, and Italians are like doing nothing to help it. I mean, they do have a navy that's strong enough to deal with it. You can see how they're shipping their troops around, so I mean, they have some sort of a navy. But wow. Italy is really, like, what's the go- Ah, oh, they're a presidential dictatorship. Yeah, people don't really like that. People, like, on average, don't approve of that very much. By the way, when's the truce going to run out with the good old Ethiopians over here? Uh, in 1902. Alright then, I guess we'll just sit around and wait for that. Oh, look at that! Um, Valachia just joined up uh, Romania, so now they only need to take Moldavia and then BAM! Romania will be kind of unified, not really. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Like, ugh. how did that happen? I don't. That maybe it was a crisis or something. I don't know. And why is the name of the Ottoman Empire sort of stretching, stretching across this? That shouldn't happen. Because this is not a vassal. These are actually allied to Germany. Oh yeah. No oh, crap. Germany actually spared the Austria-Hungary. <gasps> no. Oh, okay. One second. I thought they were going to form Super Germany, but they they have already um they have already formed Germany. So they can't do that. That would have been really interesting to see Germany forming Super Germany. And basically, for those who do not know, Super Germany, I don't know what the official name of it is, but sort of, I've heard the word Super Germany have been used before, I think, anyways. Like, basically, it's like, um, if you play as, like, Prussia, and you're in, before you form Germany, you sphere Austria, or Austria Hungary, whatever, they will actually be incorporated into your nation. So you will get, like, this huge blobification of an empire. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So, nope, oh, the industry is not perfect anymore. I guess it's because it, it lacks the raw materials that it needs. Let's go and upgrade these ones actually. What? Oh, we're poor. That's that's why. Uh, yeah, we can't even build anything. We are so poor. I need money right now. We need to fuel this industry and make it better. Really, we have taken loans. When do we do that? Pay that shit. Oh well. Okay, let's get some industry now. Um, I don't know. Do I really want this? I don't care. I want this one. Uh, factory, yeah. This this is the stuff I need. I need this one and this one. And it, oh crap, I need to... Oh crap, let's get electricity. That's like hardcore parkour important. Uh, sure, protector... Protector... I don't know. Hejazi nationalists, okay. Interesting. <laughs> you gotta love there's the way that there's two different um, there's two different uh, decisions to form uh, Scandinavia. What? Leave? Are we sphered? 
Wow, okay, we're spared by the French. Whoa, okay. Can we maybe have an alliance, please? Yes, we can ally the French. Thank you, I... Okay, here we go. Who would have thought that was a thing? Uh, we shall, of course, be allies to the French. Having some rebel issues, but hopefully they, they won't fall. Hey, look at that, we just gained another alliance. Fonts. Um, yeah, nice. Yeah, now we should be rather safe. Uh, the Italians, I don't think they have any opportunity to go against us. Simply because they, um... Uh, we are sphere now, so they can't do anything. Uh, Belgium and Ottoman M. Wow. We, ah. Uh, feels like a little bit, uh, dangerous to do such a thing, but, I mean, in theory, we could actually go ahead and, um... Um, if, I don't know, like, the question, that's the, always the problem about this, this, or one of the problems anyways. It's like, if I want to go against Italy, I have to justify war and take a, a, an infamy hit, and after I have gotten my castle's belly, that's when I can learn whether or not my allies are actually going to join me in the war. Um, uh, so that's silly, in my opinion. Just honest, honest little opinion there. Simply because I... Uh, like I like if I if if my if, Fran if France and Austria-Hungary would join uh, war against Italy, then I would indeed do it, because that would be a rather easy victory for me. Um, what kind of government form are these guys? They're a kingdom. That's a funny thing. France almost always remains a kingdom. There, I don't think there's like any events in the game that makes France as unstable as they were in real life. I mean, how, like how many republics have these guys had? Like the fourth republic, the third republic, something like that. I don't know. I'm not that good at French history. Like, after the French revolutions, they've, they've been a little bit all over the place. Uh, why am I losing money now? What? Oh, come on. Elections? I hate them. Uh, should we put the communists in there? Yes, we shall. Uh, mainly just because they are pro-military. Uh, because pro-military is awesome. Uh, anyone want... Anyone interested in more voting? Eh, not that big of a deal. What do you what do you want, my people? The polar bears are here to um, accept your demands. Not really, but uh, we kind of have to in order to keep our power. Uh, I don't know. There's no, there's no there's no like major issue. People are like, eh, sure, it's fine. People really do want protectionism, though. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's good actually. Uh, let's get good school systems. Uh, I I once I'm yeah now now this is done. I really also need to get um, good healthcare. Healthcare and education are like super parkour hardcore important. Tax the people into space as we usually do. And we are closing in on affording to build another factory. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, liquor. Liquor always is my friend in these games. Maybe gla glass, liquor, and wine. What do we produce? So it's usually a smart thing. We do produce fruits, uh, so you might actually be better off grabbing some wine. Do you produce any grain? We do indeed produce some grain here in Arabia, interestingly enough. But, like, what's the output? I'm guessing that the output of fruit in Italy is a lot bigger than the output of grain in Arabia, so we might just go for that instead. Uh, I really like the way resources work in this game. It's a lot more interesting than the way it works in um, Europe Universalis 4. Um... So what did I want? Yeah. Let's take a look at the prices. Wow, it's been so long now since i played this game. I really remember now why I enjoyed this so much. So, uh, not a high demand for liquor. It's not a high demand for wine either. But uh, there is a, the, the price for it is decent. So we might just go ahead and get a factory anyways. The best would be, of course, to build like high technology, like electric gear factories. But uh, can we even do that? Do we have the technology to do that? If we have that, then I would prefer to do that. I guess here's another good way to take a look at the production. So we're currently producing uh, that's much grain. Yeah, we're producing a lot more fruit than we are producing grains. So I think making a winery would make more sense. Uh, but let's take a look at what we can build, like at all. Uh, we can build machine parts, but I've never ever experienced that actually working out. That like you know, no, no, no. No, let's get some. Let's get a winery. Let's get a winery going. Why not? Try to get the un unemployment down. Go ahead and go ahead and save up some more money. 
And then we'll, um... Yeah, I mean, I think this factory is doing okay. It's difficult to say whenever you're having, uh, whenever you're subsidizing it. You can't really say for sure whether or not it's actually succeeding or it's ju or if or if it's just because of your subsidies. I'm not gonna gamble it. I'm gonna upgrade it. Uh, what? We have taken loans again? Where are all these loans coming from? There's something going on in my budget here that I'm not picking and paying attention to. Come on. There we go. Get rid of all the loans. No one likes loans. Uh, especially us, the polar bears. Polar bears are not like Europeans. We, they, polar bears know not to take too many loans. Mm. Alright, looks good, looks good. Making progress in the game. Trouble is brewing in Belgium. Really now, what's this all about? What's Bulgaria? Ah, it's the... really? The Belgians? No. Ah, the Belgians want the Ottomans to release Bulgaria. I think, maybe. We will, of course, support the French. Um, we're not. Oh, ah, of course, of course the Russians are going to support them. Uh, I mean... They are like, they love to call themselves like the defender of all the Slavs or something like that, so it makes sense that they want to... Bulgarians are Slavs, right? Are they? This is embarrassing. I think they are. Sound like... Oh, fuck, I don't know. Like... I don't really have to think now. Bulgarian in Macedonia? I guess the Bulgarians here are meant to represent the Slavic Mac Macedonians. So I guess that kind of hints towards that the Bulgarians are Slavic. Fuck, I don't know. Whatever, doesn't matter that much. Let's keep going. So we are literally doing nothing right now, other than waiting for... Um, Egypt... Oh, go, 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 go! Go, Egyptian nationalist! Go, go, go! Oh, seriously! If they can have success... No, here we go. Here comes the... F no, no. They're not going... There. Oh... If they one, two, three, oh! If the Egyptians are able to get liberated, and holy smokes, guess who we who we are going to be invading? Because uh, they only have four re or three regions actually, so that we are, we should be able to annex them in one go. So uh, if they would go, if they would be as kind as declare their independence from the Spanish overlords, then uh, now here they are. The Spanish has arrived. Oh, well. I guess I celebrated a little bit too early there. That's fine. No big deal. Yeah, so if if we want to fully annex Ethiopia, no one is influencing them, right? Uh, oh, no! Okay, no! Shit! Well, so much for invading Ethiopia. Damn it! Okay, we're not in... Fam! Halvetas. To. Um, well, we are not. We are not invading Ethiopia, people. Sad day, sad day. I guess Naj then. Nejd, whatever. I guess we could. They, um, we could invade them right now. We don't have a choice with them, so. Like invade them, and then we'll later on take these guys, and at least we'll have some colonies. I mean, it's gonna be kind of shitty, but. Ooh, Madagascar. Ah, Madagascar. What? Oh, they're civ no, they're uncivilized. What? <laughs> Wait, uh, is it? I feel like I smell bullshit. <laughs> is it bullshit? Ah, uh, that, that's two provinces. Two province miners. Uncivilized nation. It says that. I should be able to. Um, I shouldn't be. What do you? Ugh. I should be able to just straight out uh, make them a protectorate. Oh, this is so dumb. Seriously, what the hell? What the hell, game? What are you doing to me? This is not. It's not okay. I will put my rage out and I put low health care. Is there something I've misunderstood here? Just if you guys can leave any comments about this, then I would be most. I would appreciate that a lot, as I am severely confused right now. I mean, seriously, what the hell is this all about? Like the um, from what I understood, if you're if a if a nation is um, 
uncivilized, you have a certain technology, which I believe is uh, nationalism and, and imperialism, and they... maybe it's... Oh, I guess I'll have to go on and Google this shit. Like, um... How many regions do these guys... Yeah, they have two regions, and if we go and invade them... Oh, what the hell? We can't even, um... We can't actually establish a protectorate in Nejd either. Why not? What is that? What, what have I overlooked? I'm gonna have to go and Google this. Uh, so I might as well just go and do that right now. Because, I mean, this episode has been pretty long. So I might as well just end it here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 as Jan Mayen. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're looking forward to the next episode. And until next time, bye.